So, didn't know what to do. So we were at a stalemate. So my, my girl did what most females do. They just figure, I know it's good for him. I know it's gonna make him happy. I'm gonna make a major decision without him and then he's gonna deal with it. Yeah, that's how I got a dog. I got a dog when I was on the road. I was on the road and I just had a message on my machine. It was just boot. And I just heard, she's just like, um, okay. Um, I did something. Um, kind of involves both of us. But I think you're gonna love it. Just give me a call. Okay, bye. <laughs> now, does that sound like I just signed you up for a 12 to 15 year commitment? That doesn't sound like that, right? That sounds like I bought a new outfit. I'm gonna drag you to some awful restaurant during a playoff game, right? <laughs> That's what it felt like. So I'm ready for that argument. She tells me she went out and she got a dog. Now, half of me isn't upset because you got a rescue dog. Yeah, we have it for a week, and you know, if you want to keep it, we can. So I go, well, let me see it. So we started Skyping, and she pans around. You know what she got? She got a pit bull. I swear to God, she, I'm like, oh, you got a pit bull? Are you out of your fucking mind? You got a pit bull? She goes, it's not a pit bull, it's a mix. Mix with what? Another pit bull? Look at that thing. She said, it's been doing pull-ups its entire life. Front paws were still taped up. It's like shadow boxing in the background. And p 90 x It's a pit bull. Jesus Christ. And she's just like, no, he's sweet. She said, no, she's adorable. And all this type of... Oh. This is the worst part. I wasn't getting home for three days, you know? And she's all wrapped up in this dog, you know? And I'm like, I don't get home for three days. What happens when I get home on Monday and you have to go to work? She goes, well, I just figured I'd drive to work and you could just come home to the apartment and meet the dog that way. I'm like, are you out of your mind? I'm not coming home to that. That dog is bonding with you. It thinks you guys live there. I'm gonna come walking in and have my cap ripped off because I'm trying to show my name on the phone bill. No, it's not going down like that. So she's like, well, what do I do? I'll tell you what you do. You take that hellhound, you put it in the goddamn car, drive it to work, park in the shade, do whatever you gotta do. I'm coming home to a safe house, and then you drive home with the dog, call me when you're a half mile away, I'll meet you and Cujo down in the driveway, we will all walk in together, I will be in the front to show that I am the pack leader, because I watched half an episode of The Dog Whisperer, and I think that that's what you're supposed to do. I think. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's all true, right? So I go down to the drive and I see the dog, it's a beautiful dog. So literally like walking like a marine or some shit, like it's sneaking into something. And I'm like, okay, here we go, turning my back on a, on a pit bull that I don't even know. That turns out they didn't get it to shelter. They found it by the LA River. It lived by the LA River for two weeks. And my girl's response to that was like, isn't that sad? <laughs> no, it's fucking scary. <laughs> Why is it scary? Well, obviously it got enough protein so it wasn't eating berries out there. That thing was choking out coyotes. You know? Breaking the necks of squirrels. I don't know what it was doing, but it definitely was. You brought a murderer into the house. Don't just rescue an alligator while you're at it just to add to the excitement. So we get the dog in the damn house. It's exactly what I thought was gonna happen. The dog's sitting there looking at her, and then it's looking at me, and then looking at her like, who the hell is a new guy, right? <laughs> the new guy is the guy paying the fucking rent. And I was getting no respect. So I was just like, I also right there, I was just like, I know what she's doing. I know what she's doing. She's bringing this dog home because she thinks I'm gonna fall for it. And then, and then she, we'll just have the dog. And it's just like, I love animals, okay? But I'm not gonna live with one that can fucking kill me, you know? <laughs> Rescue a chihuahua, so when it flips out because I grabbed the remote too quickly, I can flick it off the goddamn <laughs> table or something, you know? So, so, so we, got, we got it for a week. We got it for a week, and then we make our decision. So I just shut down emotionally. I was like, fuck this dog. First two days, I didn't give a shit, you know? Dog sitting there looking at me, and I was just like, Jesus Christ. But, you know, <laughs> then on Wednesday, I don't know what happened. I, start, I started to like it a little bit, you know? <laughs> Nah, I was watching TV, you know, I always talk to myself, I'm always home alone, I feel like a maniac. I finally had somebody to bounce my ideas off. <laughs> it's kind of nice. Sitting there on TV, believe these goddamn bankers steal a trillion dollars and they get a bonus, and they get a bonus. Dog's sitting there looking at me, you know. <laughs> so I'm fighting it, goddammit, I think I like this dog a little bit, you know. It's making me want to work out, you know. I'm asking a question, how do you get these muscles? What, what do you do for this? <laughs> And then by Thursday, you know, I'm getting out in the air, I'm walking the dog, and I'm like, God damn it, I think I love this dog. This is fucking, you know, I don't know if you ever walked a pit bull. You owe it to your life at some point in your life to walk a pit bull down the street. I'm telling you, it's the greatest experience ever. People just get the fuck out of the way. 
It's unreal. Three, four blocks away, they see me coming. They just immediately cross the street. It's tremendous. I don't know why black people complain about that. I love having the whole side of the street to myself. It's great. I feel like a king. Oh, it's awesome. It's the greatest thing ever. Pitbulls are the shit. It's, it's like a gun you can pet. It's the only way to describe it. It's awesome. They make you want a P90X or something. Just get in better shape. So then by Friday, I mean, by Friday, the dog was literally messing up my relationship. My poor girl's sitting on the couch by herself. I'm sitting there spooning with the dog, and the full dog is awesome. Dog is awesome. Watch me get a leg going. Watch me get a leg going. I don't know what happened. In four days, I went from fuck this dog to oh my God, this thing's gonna die someday. How am I emotionally gonna be able to deal with it? Oh, I love it. Absolutely, I carry it around like a baby. Oh, it's the greatest thing ever. You come home, it's sh shaking his tail, it's all excited, like, dude, you're fucking awesome, you know? It's like, dude, you have no idea how much I need that, you know? It's tremendous. And you can't appreciate how awesome a dog is as a kid. You can only do it as an adult. As a kid, there's like no frame of reference. It's like you're a kid, your whole life is awesome. It's awesome, right? You ever think about being a kid? You had no money, you had no ID, no cell phone, no nothing. No keys to the house. You just ran outside into the woods. You weren't scared of nothing. I challenge you to do that as an adult. All your ID, all your credit card, just run out of the house, no phone. Turn the corner where you can't see your house and not have a full-on panic attack. Like, oh my God, what if something happens to me? I'll get locked up, no one will know who I am. What if I twist my ankle? Your whole life is awesome as a kid, right? You show up, no money, you just get stuff. Real cheese, movie tickets, right? Why wouldn't a dog be awesome? Everything is awesome. It's not till you're an adult that you appreciate it, right? Your dreams start dying, somebody cheats on you, right? Bankers fuck up your 401k, you know? And then you come home, that dog's looking at you like, dude, you're awesome. It's like, no, dude, you, you are fucking awesome. You are the shit. Oh, it's the greatest thing ever. Absolutely. Ah, it's unreal. It's unreal. <laughs> My poor girlfriend, she's sitting there going, Jesus Christ, you love the dog more than you love me. It's like, well, sweetie, you're not at the back door shaking your ass every time I come home. <laughs> it's really a tough, no matter what time, four in the morning, drunk, the dog doesn't give a shit. Hey, awesome. Woo! 